for some reason, some horrible, unforeseen, I don't understand, crooked pop filter over my mic reason, <sighs> the world line changed. I don't know why. For some reason, um, they were getting to the bottom. They were kind of deciphering um, the whole code that they used for Kagari whenever they were capturing her, which was kind of dumb by them. But uh, I guess they expected to succeed there. And also that they wouldn't figure it out. Shout out to the characters that we've met that are that were pretty quick to that. Uh, but shortly after that, Reading Steiner started going crazy in Okabe. And for some reason, Kurisu's here. And everyone else is gone. Why that's the case, I don't know. But I'm going to find out. So let's see what this is. Beginning the episode in three, two, one. Again, I don't like this for Okabe, but it's nice to see her in some sense. And you'll scare someone existing. Why are you alive? Okay. So it's the same time. Yeah, it's a shock. That, yeah, first of all. What the hell? Like, more than, like, how he feels that this probably shouldn't be happening, he's probably just still happy to see her, you know? Like, holy shit. Like, actually her, not Amadeus, not some distant memory, like, her here for some reason. I guess we'll see. She's acting pretty normal. She's not questioning things. She knows who she is. Who he is, rather. So, I don't know, man. This part of the opening is still a banger. Of her. Wait, what? What happened to her? What happened to everyone? Wait, wait, is she alive but everyone else is dead? What's going on? I guess Myri's dead for some reason. So is this the world line where Myri's dead, I guess? But that shouldn't be the case. Oh my. Don't blame you, buddy. What the fuck? Wow. So only Mayuri died. Right. So this is that world line, I guess. This is so weird, man. Why is this happening?
What? Because what do you do as Okabe? You're just like, what the? All right, let me, let me take a moment. Fuck this shit. He's just being beaten down. Okay. Go. Try to think. Right, right, right. Sucks. Awful. First time I watched it, fucked me up. It was bad. I, I don't know. I don't know, dude. Nope. Is this happening in his head? Because he's... Because he somehow jumped world lines. Like a big jump, too. Because, oh wow. Fubuki. Oh, right. Oh. Uh. Oh. It is. I don't know how we're going to get back or how we're going to get out of here. Uh oh. About to have a talk. Oh. What? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Shit, man. Oh my gosh. But why are we here? Like this is bad, this sucks, but why? I'm happy to see Kurisu again, but this isn't right. Huh. I wonder what she thought there. Well, we'll we'll see, man. This, oh man. So this is a world line where you couldn't even go back to try to save her. Huh. 
She figured it out. Thought so. Yeah, just the fact that he doesn't know certain things. Well, there's an episode title drop right there. Okay. Oh. So that's how she figured it out. Huh. Wow. I think I understood what she meant there. That's kind of fucked up. I guess in case he might, you know, do something to himself. Oh, shit. What? How? How? Oh, man, when we leave this world line, I'm going to miss her, dude. I don't like that this world line exists either, though. But, and see, this is... I don't, I don't know. Oh. Ugh. Yeah. And that, and that's, that's it right there. It's like he just, he just can't have both. Only in the Steins Gate world line. That shit says I'm a deus. I'm walking out of this room. Okay. Always like Yabara. Huh. Really? Hmm. Interesting what's happening here. I wonder if she has a theory of maybe a way to get him. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. Huh. Well. That's pretty harsh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. I miss the sass that is brought out by Okabe in her. Right.
Okay, yeah. Right, that's in and Amade said that. Yeah. Okay, there's that too. <laughs> this is so cool. This sucks, but I like that they get some time together. I don't know. Maybe this will help him move on. Oh, what? What is this? Oh my. Wow. 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 Oh, wow. Oh. fact that she's telling him herself Fuck. Ah. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Shit, man. Oh, my God. Ah. Right. That's a good point. Oh.
<laughs> oh. Oh, man. Will this work, though? I'm sure it will, but this is, I don't know. That's a long time ago. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. I think I just realized what that was. Because there was the first time they met, right? And then, which was the first time he went with Suzaha and failed. And then the time he thought that he met her. So, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, wow. Oh, Oh no. Oh wow. All right. Oh, he needed that. I didn't think we were going to get this again, man. Oh wow. Ah, oh, man. Stop, stop. And so he was able to do it. And now here we are. Back again. That was needed. That was very much needed. It was it was cruel to for him to be sent. Clearly it's the work of time machines. I I I made I've made this observation in earlier um episodes, but surely there's tests being run and time machines are being developed to the point that it's pr it's probably fucking with Okabe because there's like real time progress going on after um, Kurisu's father, you know, took you know defected and took you know that paper over there. So, which is is crazy. Like a anyway, we'll 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 um we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But I'm man, I'm so. I hate that that world line existed.
And but you understand it, right? Because it's like Okabe just couldn't in that moment just couldn't let go of Kurisu because um she came in, said I die love you, and that is what stops him. But that don't come in. I didn't understand it at first, but I get it now. Also, forgive me, because I did binge Steins Gate to get to Steins Gate Zero, so certain things I'm, I may be misremembering in terms of just, like, that. But, um, yeah, man, this was, oh, man, just for her to tell him herself and be like, yo, you need to get back to that world line. I'm telling you, I can't that reach to the sky that Myri does. He just did that, man. As soon as, as soon as I saw it, I was like, do it, man. Do it. For her, man. Um it's that Stardust thing. I wish I could remember the whole name the whole name. Um uh, And then the kiss. Oh man. It sucked to see how hurt everyone was about losing Myuri. Um Even Curry Sue herself, it's it was cool to see her perspective on like like oh shit you met Maho oh shit uh I'm a deus how do you know about that it's, and she was like well in this world line I was able to figure out the time travel thing shortly after meeting you like in you know and combining that with her theory and her own thoughts so Okabe interacting with Amadeus is pretty dangerous for that fact as stated by her which is makes sense. Oh, dude, I I almost don't don't know what to say. I feel like I should be saying a lot about this episode, but I just I feel like it just speaks for itself to the point like I can only like I got chills like I, I got um teary eyed. I, I, I thought it was going to come down, man, but it, it, it definitely hit me to the extent where I was like I had to like I, I felt like a couple waves and I had to like catch it. Oh, man. I hope this doesn't happen again, um, because if this happened to him due to some effect of time machine, I don't know if it's like targeting him or if he's just feeling the effects of it, just of it going on. But if this can send him, if that can send him to an entirely different world line, that's very dangerous, man. It's it's like a race against the clock. It's like um, when he gets back to the world line, the, the beta world line, he, it's almost like he has to make a decision maybe about house time machine because then what right something has to be done now maybe i guess probably just gonna figure out more about um more about uh who excuse me more about who is uh kidnapping kagari because that's what they were doing and figuring that out give a target for the rounders you know to get their aid but yeah I just, I gotta give props to this episode, man. Just everything about it. Like, my initial confusion to me, enjoying the sweetness of seeing Okabe interact with Kurisu again. You know, the banter, the, you know, the flirting and a somberness, very solemn, you know, reflections on this world line where Mayuri did not make it, where she had to see him be so depressed. She had to install a GPS in his phone. They didn't say why, but I assumed to know whether he was maybe going to go off and just leave or maybe just do, go do something to himself, right? It's just, it's fucked up, man. Losing either of them sucks, but um, I don't know if we'll reach Steins Gate, man. I got to be honest. I don't know if we're going to ever reach that world line because there's just way too much, just too much to go through and lose like changing changing a world line in itself is just such a risk and a sacrifice in itself i don't know i just don't know man but this was so necessary i'm so happy that um curry Sue was able to give him the strength to go back because yeah because yeah he's in this world line where he's lost my but curry Sue's here this the 
the person he loves, the one he's been in anguish over losing in Steins Gate Zero. He has this opportunity to spend time with her and he almost couldn't leave. You know, even despite losing Mayuri in this world line, he almost couldn't leave. He almost didn't have the strength to do it, but she pushed him. She's telling him, yo, I need you to go to that world line where Mayuri lives. I'm telling you. And then gave him the kiss and saying, I'm happy I met you. Like, ugh. It was so perfect, man. So, I hope, at the very least, that um, Okabe is determined that he takes that moment takes everything that he got from spending time with curry sue and getting her thoughts which was so good i'm so happy we got that man i'm so happy we got that i'm just they couldn't have executed that better it was so necessary too so um yeah pretty much when okabe gets back i hope he's determined i hope that he does something decisive whether it's determining uh further determining like who's behind the kidnapping, which you already know kind of my thoughts on that. Uh, cough, Judy, cough. Um, but yeah, that whole team is pretty sus, honestly. Um, uh, but uh, I don't know, man. Because if this time, if the meddling with the time machines keeps going on, who's to say it's not going to happen again to Okabe and he's just sent off to another world line and possibly with no way to return, right? Like, how fortuitous that he got there and Kurisu had already re redesigned it, right? Or remade it. Yeah, so time's ticking. Uh, no pun, but hopefully, wherever this takes us, I still have. Oh, man, I'm not even like. A third through the show yet so who knows what more can happen it's probably going to get very crazy um but this was a this is by far of course my favorite episode so far so we're, we'll see where this takes okabe and everyone see if okabe can keep managing the insanity in his brain of having just going through ca all these world lines it just doesn't stop but we'll see where this takes him man and i'm feeling a little more optimistic at the very least Anyway, thank you for watching this with me, and um, I'll see you next time. Peace.